World Cup match winners could be on the move, the latest from the England camp including Deli Ali and Steve Holland, and why Cristiano Ronaldo is winning at this World Cup. That and much more coming up in the next few minutes as I'm your host Matt Froelich, you are the one footballers and this is the Daily News. So with the World Cup being watched by over 3 billion people, it's safe to say that a few of those eyes will be in a position to decide the future of many of the players on show, like those of the managers and chairmen of some of the world's biggest clubs. So with that in mind, it's probably a good idea to try your hardest to get that big move you've been dreaming of. Case in point, Herving Lozano and Zerdan Shakiri. Both players have been match winners and put in match winning performances for their countries that could see moves to Barcelona and Liverpool respectively. Mexico's Lozano looks set to move to the new camp in a 50 million pound deal, which may seem a lot, but considering he's represented by super agent Mina Raiola, kind of makes sense. And Liverpool could have the chance to sign Jordan Sikiri for as little as 18 million given that he's just been relegated with Stoke City. Having said that though, Nigeria's Ahmed Musa doesn't look for a big money move so soon, with his performance merely a flash in the pan considering his club form in the last few years. Moving on to news from the England camp and Deli Ali made his return to training for all of 45 minutes. After resting a thigh injury after Monday night's victory against Tunisia, it looks like Ali's hopes of playing against Panama have all been extinguished, leaving the door open for the likes of Ruben Loftus Cheek. As for the starting lineup against Panama, well, it seems like all those shitty journalists in the UK are doing their best to try and get some sort of exclusive instead of writing the usual crap. Assistant manager Steve Holland had written a potential team down, presumably to help with the day's training. But for one journalist, he couldn't help but notice the notepad in Holland's hand, take a picture and send it out to the world. Now I know Steve Holland has apologised for this, but he shouldn't have to. This is quite possibly the most ridiculous thing that the English media has ever done. While South Korea are sending spies into other teams camp, if you're playing England, don't worry about it. We'll give you all the information that you want and you don't even have to work for it. So that's what we're doing now. The dirty work on our own team and exposing ourselves. How stupid must you be to take this private information that could be used against you and put it out there for the world to see? Of course, Gareth Southgate put these thoughts across in a much milder manner in a newspaper, but to be honest, I think he should have just let rip like I'm sure he did behind closed doors. For all these media journalists, stay away from the England camp and let the country get on with preparing to make the nation proud by putting in some good performances. As for your newspaper, stick to writing that absolute bullshit that you do and that no one gives a f about. Now after that rant, let's talk about something more positive, like how Cristiano Ronaldo is practically wrapping up the Ballon d'Or right now. After four goals in his opening two games, the Madrid man could sit back and watch the world turn on winless Argentina and goalless Lionel Messi. After that, the rest of the world turned on Neymar and his play acting in Brazil's 2-0 win over Costa Rica, which he then decided to cry about after the final whistle. To be honest, Ronaldo looks all but certain to win football's most prestigious individual award, whereas Neymar looks more likely to pick up an Oscar for all that play acting. That's all from me for now. Don't forget to keep up to date with all the latest World Cup content over on OneFootball TV. But until next time, I'll see you later.